Sometimes people can be resistant if they don't feel fully in control. Respecting autonomy is a useful way to remind parents that they do have the freedom to make their own decisions. In the next scene, let's take a look at how a dental hygienist uses this method in conversation with two parents who feel they're doing everything right and are reluctant to take on board any advice. Tom is in a really good place with his eating and it works really well um, for when he's at home and when he's with the childminder. Um, I just can't see what you're saying can make any difference because it's, it's not as if anything's wrong with his teeth anyway. Mm -hmm. The dentist said they're fine. A little bit of plaque on them, that's all. I thought that's why we were here. Yeah, and we're really careful with his diet. We make sure everything that he eats is healthy. We plan his meals, the snacks are good for him as well. I can see that you're really organised and you're brushing twice a day. But what we would like to look at is have a look at his diet where we would recommend some small changes. But we eat really well. I mean, we hardly have any sugar like cakes or, or biscuits and Tom gets lots of fruit and fresh orange juice. That's great, but it's all about the balance, OK? Some healthy foods do have a lot of sugars in them and you'd be surprised about the amount of hidden sugars in other foods. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I appreciate what you're saying, but this would mean us completely changing the routine that we've had Tom in since he was a, since he was a baby, and uh, he's a healthy, happy boy. Yeah, he's really active, so mm. therefore he's really hungry. He needs, he needs the snacks for the energy. Mm, yeah. Absolutely, so. and we're, we're, we're really mindful that he has all his fruits and vegetables, and the childminder gives him fresh fruit and smoothies made by hand every mm -hmm. day and, uh, and he, he, he loves it. You yeah, know, he loves it. Full of healthy vitamins. Yeah, he loves it and, you know, he's not off with any illnesses or cold or flu, unlike the other kids in his class. Mm. I mean, so I know you're saying that we need to make changes, but I don't think it's necessary. I understand what you're saying and it is a lot to take in. Ultimately, it is your decision but have a think about what we've discussed today and go home and have a chat amongst yourselves. What I would like to do is give you some leaflets about foods and drinks which are good for teeth. A couple of leaflets there, particularly the healthy eating leaflet. Okay. The hygienist showed the parents that they were in control of what to do next. She offered support, but respected that they needed more time to make a final decision.